hello today we are going to test the regulator rectifier on your scooter and in this video I'm going to show you how okay the regulator rectifier on your scooter is located on the front part of your scooter front left top okay that's where it's located now to remove this part right here the nose of your scooter you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver you have two screws right here at the driver's side and you have two screws underneath the nose of your scooter okay Sure you place the screw in a location where you're not going to forget what they are because if you forget what they are they're gonna go in your tires okay so be careful After you remove the screws, you can remove the front part of the scooter. Make sure you do everything gently, because uh, everything is made of plastic in the scooter. I like the way the scooter they're made, but everything is made of plastic and is not a good plastic. So, be careful. Especially be careful with those little flaps right here, because they break easily, okay? So, be nice. Right after you remove the nose of your scooter, on the top left side of your scooter, right here, you're going to see the rectifier regulator, okay? Right here, okay? This one will take the electricity from your stator, bobina right here, that is on your right of the scooter. This one will produce electricity, okay? It's an alternator. And it will give power to your rectifier regulator. The regulator is going to regulate the flow of the electricity, okay? Plus, it will convert the power that is coming from the stator right here, that is AC voltage right here, this one is going to produce AC voltage and it will rectify it to a DC voltage that is going to charge the battery. Now, if you put a little multimeter right here and you connect it with the red wire and the green wire, you're going to have the electricity that at the moment is inside your battery, okay? In my battery at the moment there is 1277. The only time really you need to check your rectifier if your battery get this charger many times and you start to think is the battery bad or is the battery not charging. So this way with the multimeter you can understand if your regulator is working or is not or is your battery bad or not. So at this point what you're going to connect, you're going to connect the red wire with the probe of the multimeter and the black wire with the green one okay now my battery at this point is a 1277 okay now when i turn my scooter the electricity on the starter is going to start to produce ac voltage now the rectifier is going to rectify that power to dc voltage so this 1277 is going to go higher because they need to charge the battery, okay? Okay, if I turn on the motor of the scooter, you're going to see that the electricity is going to go higher. This is the, see, motor raised, 
the power on the scooter and the more the electricity is going higher, okay? It's going to reach maybe 14.5 or slightly less, maybe 14 if I go at full power in the scooter, full throttle, okay? Now, connecting these probes, the red one and the green one, to the multimeter at 20 DC, you're going to read 13.58 right now and higher. If you don't want to go higher, you just Make sure you do this work when your scooter is on the center stand, okay? Now right here, there is two cables that they are going to the battery and there is two cables that they are going to the alternator stator, okay? More you raise the engine and more you're going to get electricity, okay? Now. You see, this one is what more or less you need to have to charge your scooter at the minimum throttle, okay? So, if that's what you have on your scooter at the minimum throttle, your rectifier will charge your battery pretty good. This is just at the idle, okay? That's how much voltage, voltage you're going to get at the idle on your rectifier, okay? So this one is the electricity that is not in your battery plus the electricity that is coming from your stator, your alternator, okay? Now, if you need to change the... If you need, now, if you need to change the rectifier because it's not good, it's not going to give us too much electricity, you just unplug right here there is a little flap that you just move up and you can pull out the connection and right there there is on the right side on the left side there is two bolts uh, that they are 10 millimeter okay so i will put the link underneath the description for this specific uh, regulator that you can find online they're not too expensive around maybe ten dollar fifteen dollar and they last a long time sometimes they might go crazy that's why they're gonna charge too much to your battery or where they're gonna charge very little to your battery. So, if they're charging too much, sometimes they can even blow up some lights, you know? Because few lights, they're working with this, okay? Now, these are all the wires that are coming. The two, they're coming from the battery and the other two are coming from the alternator, okay? Right after you test your regulator, you can put back the cover right here. Be careful because there are slots right here on the left and the right side where you have to put the plastic, okay? And you're gonna have two screw, screw on the driver's side and two screws underneath the nose, okay? Okay, everybody, thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you enjoy it. Feel free to subscribe visit my channel at any time and click like. Thank you.